Hey guys, I'm Pedro. I'm Jeff. We're brewing uh, some tea from Iwu today. So this is made by our good friends, uh, Faucio, Frank Scioli and uh, Gelfong. And uh, this is from a place called Iwu, of course in, um, in Yunnan. It's from 2006 and uh, check it out. It's a personal collection of our, of our good friends. This is very much a favorite of ours. Uh, we, we had a small amount and we sold out, so I'm really excited that we've restocked. We've got a, a few lot things. of people lined up to snag cakes in this one already. It's a very easy going uh, tea cake. Yep. Should we warm these guys up? Super smooth. Think. Sweet. So this tea being from 2006, it's not as, uh, as, as rich, heavy as, as you would expect from, uh, from, some, of the, from a, some of the younger Bulang Sang Pours, for example. But uh, it's delicious, it's more like caramel. The leaves is going a little rinse. Check these guys out, they're, they're quite, quite a nice pick. Um, you know, mostly small buds, no twigs or branches, which nothing wrong with twigs and branches, but definitely not a choice of whoever made this, this tea originally. Very, very sweet sugar on my hand. Yeah, sugar and old books. Exactly. Old books in a nice way. Yeah, I guess I should specify. Old books if you're the kind of person that likes the smell of old books. Exactly. Um, don't see too many small particles. I mean, leaves are quite clean. And Jeff and myself. And for the mushroom. Super light first brew. Should try a heavier one later. Yeah, it really opens up. Milk caramel. It's so comforting. Yeah. Not so heavy on fermentation though. No, I'd be super interested to see what this one's gonna be like in another five, 10. Um, it's already really nice and rich, but I think it's just gonna get a little bit deeper, heavier. Yep, I've got a tongue for personal use in the house, so we'll see. Have a couple of cakes in Puerto Vallarta and see how that behaves in uh, some wet aging. Some wet aging. Wet, yeah, it's not that wet. But do you have a Do you have a strong opinion on the the wet storage, dry storage? Yes, I do. Um, it's a more of a complicated thing for <laughs> perhaps a longer episode. But stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll talk about wet storage and dry storage. Right now, we'll just drink this guy and feed our mushroom. So mushroom, guys. This is uh, from one of our favorite ceramic artists. Adriana Diaz de Cosillo, who has the coolest workshop in uh, Mexico City. And uh, she will be invited to the tea bar within the next few months. And we'll, we'll do some, we'll do an auction with some of her pieces. Uh, this guy now starts looking like maple syrup. Again, quite clean, you know, barely any, any small little chunks of leaves. More book in this one. Yeah, more library intense. Super easy sipping. Perfect for uh, the start of rain season in Vancouver. Agreed. This is the kind of tea you want to be inside drinking when it's raining. Or camping when it's wet. I could drink this at bonfire. Yep. Number three. Number three, so we should start getting some really nice rich color out of this now that the leaves are kind of waking up. I think we should probably do a pause and, and fast forward to Steve number eight because, because it's a good number. Yeah. 
darker maple syrup. syrup in this guy. It starts getting sweeter. This is when I really start to enjoy it. And richer. Yeah. There's a nice little bit of astringency there too. Um, it just kind of finishes a little more cleanly after it's been infused a few times. Exactly. Mm. Cool, man. I think we should fast forward to steep number eight. We're going to keep drinking. All right. Number eight. Number eight. Color is beautiful. This one's got a lot of life in it. Dude, this one looks like uh, Spanish brandy. Yeah. <laughs> Can't forget the mushroom. Yeah, don't forget mushroom. That guy's getting his share. Mm. It gets so sweet in the later infusions. I know. Again, rich. This guy's still pretty thick. Yep, love it, man. 